Hey, want to know what we think about fitness influencer workout programs? Watch this. Our next caller is Ashlyn from Minnesota. Ashlyn, how can we help you? Hi. So recently I had started weight training again after a really long hiatus. So I was approaching it as a beginner. I had been consistent for about two to three months until I got COVID. So since I've been out from training for about three to four weeks and I've been wanting to get back into it, but I've been dealing with this lingering fatigue and exhaustion from the COVID that I haven't experienced in a long time since having adrenal fatigue. So anyway, my question is, what do you guys think is the best way, best, healthiest, safest way to get back into weight training with this fatigue and exhaustion? Yeah, good question. Mm-hmm. So there's a horse dewormer. You can, I'm just kidding. Don't <laughs> don't cancel us, <laughs> Spotify. No, Come okay, on, so man. no, no, I'm just kidding. No, okay, so here's the deal. Doug over there cringing. I right know now. he's already freaking out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you the like the answer from my expertise, and then I'm going to give you the non-expertise answer just based off of stuff that I've read. Okay, so here's Great. this is like this is for sure the good advice. For sure, good advice is give it some time, go very slowly, and train according to how you feel. I've talked to lots of people uh, that feel like you do after recovering from illness, and it seems like some people it takes one to two months before they start to start to feel like themselves. And, you know, Adam was a, somebody, the same thing, he had about a month and a half or two months where he kind of felt crappy and then slowly it came back. So that's the, that's the okay. for sure, like piece of advice. Okay. Here's some speculation based off of what I've read. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a doctor, but I've read a lot about, um, glutathione and NAC supplementation to help with, uh, recovery from COVID. Um, there's, there's been some studies to show there's a strong connection and correlation to low glutathione levels and severe, um, uh, you know, symptoms of COVID and long COVID. So you can find liposomal glutathione. We work with a company called live on. They produce, it. it's really good. It's one of the best ones I've, I've found. And then NAC you can find online. Amazon doesn't sell it anymore. Cause I think the FDA is trying to re-regulate it. Um, and you know, although it's been available for 20 years, weird why all of a sudden they, they want to do that. But anyway, that's a side note. Those two things right there, try supplementing with them um, okay. and, and see if that if that helps with your recovery. But again, that's the part take with a grain of salt. The, the most important part is just give yourself time. Everybody I've talked to that's been in this situation, it took them about a month to two months and then they started to feel like themselves again. As far as programming and stuff, uh, are, do you have Map Starter? I don't. I've been using like a mixture of don't hate me, <laughs> um, fitness influencer programs that I felt like took the best from each one and kind of made my own. Yeah, so I don't have a map one yet. We're, we're going to send you map starter. Yeah. Jesus. We, oh, don't, we, we, don't, we don't want you Bambi's doing that. butt builder. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want you doing that. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Map starter will be, will be absolutely perfect. For, trust the process too. I, yeah. Anytime I put Katrina back on starter after she's, uh, been off for a while. She's always antsy to get back after it. I'm like, listen, follow the programming. I promise that you'll continue to see great results. It'll pr- get you ready for something a little more intense. So I would I would follow Starter after you go through Starter, then I would consider going to Anabolic. So follow follow Starter to T. We're going to send that over to you for free. Um, that's what I would do. And then, so I, I just walked, you know, so I would go, I would go for walks and I, cause I even noticed like if I went for like a long walk or like a, like a pills and so like that I could even feel, I felt like, uh, almost like there was like, uh, um, like someone standing on my chest. Mm. Like it was just hard. It was harder for me to breathe. And it took me a good solid, almost two months. Uh, and all I would do is I would, I would go, or I'd be like riding the bike around the block with max and you know, something that I could do for a half hour to hour, no problem. I could only do for about 10 or 15 minutes. And so I would just do that. I would kind of, I would kind of push to that limit and then I would back off and then mm-hmm. relax. And I noticed I'd be really tired uh, after that. So definitely my body's talking to me, letting me know that it was a lot for me at the time. So just take it slow and and, yeah. and do walks and starter for now. Just and listen to your body. Rest. I mean, yep. you really got to pay attention to those signals and like take Take it easy and 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 really take that tempo and that pace down substantially, so you can you know use this time to to work on the quality of your form and the mechanics of uh, the movements, and uh, you know even just kind of sit in it uh, for a while uh, and and rebuild that tension and um, just just kind of pace it out at a very slow pace, and you're going to build that momentum and get back uh, when your body's adequately ready. Yeah, Ashley, one more piece of advice, okay? Yeah. Um, so are, are you a trainer or a coach? You, you, are you a trainer or coach? Do you coach anybody or train anyone? 
I'm a yoga teacher, but okay. not a fitness trainer. Okay. So, okay. Awesome. So this is going to be great. Okay. So I have a little bit of knowledge of yoga. I've taken yoga maybe, I don't know, he 30, the pants, maybe 30 it. times. Yeah, okay. He, he wears now, the pants. Yeah. Hey, I, wear yeah. Yo- I wear yoga pants uh, on the weekends. No, all, all joking aside, imagine this, right? You're a yoga instructor. You know what you're doing. Imagine if you had someone like me who came to you and said, hey, listen, I'm doing my own yoga routine. I took uh, like 15 classes uh, or I, I watched 15 videos on Instagram and I put together what I think to be the best routine for myself. Like, how would you, how would you feel about that? Or what would you think about that? Like, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. stop it. <laughs> yeah. So, so what you're doing is number one, you're, pu- you're picking routines from a pool of idiots. Okay. So yep. Yep. fitness influencers <laughs> are, are literally fitness morons. So, so they're, they're yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Get them, they're Get dumb. Them. And what you're doing is you're not only picking from a pool of idiots, but then you're taking that and mixing it based off of yeah, your randomly putting your, lit- your limited experience. So no, right. no offense to you. I get it, but yeah. you, you don't know what you don't know. And so what you've probably right. done is you're probably taking terrible routines and just making another terrible one. So yep. follow map starter as okay. it's laid out, trust the process, just like you would want when your students to, to trust your process and then see how, see what happens. Okay. And should I take the program at the pace that it's safe yes. to take it at, or should I just take it slow and listen yeah. to my body? Oh, well, always well, listen to your yeah. body. Yeah. Always, but it's, always, but it's designed. We factored that in. Yeah. That's factored into it. That's why okay. it's called map starter is right. the, the thought process is somebody who's been away from lifting for a while or somebody who just came right. out of having a child. Like it's definitely a, a good place for you to start right now and just, just follow it as, as instructed, unless it's too, if it is too much back off, but yeah. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate this. No problem. Thank you. All right. I tell you what, man, I really appreciate the social media fitness influencers because it's it, it's like it bring they, us customers. Boy, do they give us like they, they give us a great. Uh, it just reminds me part of the market. Don't they? Anytime totally. we get something like that, it always just reminds me of how much more work we have I to know. do. You know, if you have somebody who's been listening to us for uh, you know I don't know obviously long enough to know she knows how to you know send in a question yep. and get on here, but then doesn't have any of the programs and is randomly pulling from influencers. It's like how many of how many of our audience is still or how many people in our audience are still doing things like that. So. Right. Yeah, the problem is that they they you know they they value exercise as just movement. Well, I'm just moving, uh, so what's the difference? If well, I'm- no, I'll never forget the first time um, I'm gonna throw our friend on the bus here. Uh, when Craig and I were hanging out and he referred to exercise programming as ice cream flavors. Oh, that was a I good. almost fucking, you know, threw my head through the wall after he said that. I was <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? This is part of the problem. This is part of the problem is that people really think it's just ice cream flavors and it's like, oh, you like Rocky Road, have Rocky Road. Yeah. Oh, you like Mint Chip, have Mint Chip. It's like, there's <laughs> there's a lot of science that goes into good programming. Right. Just like programming for, it's more like programming for a fucking computer. Yeah, a program. Yeah, yeah. You want the program to turn your computer on you you throw a, you throw a couple wrong ones and zeros and it doesn't do anything yes or it crashes the whole thing. Yeah. It's a very effective way to get to your desired outcome and it's just like there's a science behind it and i guess that's why we get irritated because you know immediately whether or not they're using any science in their program yeah well and it's also there's also a major difference beside be, between programming for results and just general exercise Mm-hmm. Okay, so that I'll give you that that you know general exercise yeah, is like ice nothing. cream flavors. Yeah, sometimes it's like if you just want to randomly move and just burn calories, and yeah. that's your desired outcome. But most people calling in or most people listening to the show are, have specific goals. I want to lose X amount of body fat. I want to build so much muscle. I want to run faster, yeah. jump higher, live longer. Yeah, so I mean, you're consistent. That's great. Now yeah. let's look and see what's the best way, right? You know, to be consistent. Right. It reminds me of like uh, when I you know with, I have friends who. You know, they, they're professional fighters or whatever. And we, they would always laugh at these like videos online of like, this is how you disarm someone who's pointing a gun at you. Like, oh my God, dude. You're going to perfectly like happen exactly how the person's coming at you. Right? They're like, dude, yeah. they're going to get someone yeah. killed if somebody like, follows uh? this, this yeah. stupid advice. So it's hilarious. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.